Hey you guys, it's your boy Peyton Snay back here again. Um going to review to you guys on um the second Goosebump book that I just got done reading um, a few minutes ago, which was Goosebumps book number two, Stay Out of the Basement. Um This is the This is the reprint, so um as you can tell if if you're a big fan of the Goosebump series, um, because the, the, like the original art artwork had a picture of like a, a green hand coming out of the um of, of the door, this one it just it has like a picture of a plant wearing like a scientist clothes, and to be honest, I really love this kind of artwork better than the um the original. Alright, so let's talk about Stay Out of the Basement, shall we? Um, so, um... First off, like... To be honest with you, I kind of like... Like, the book was okay. It, it was okay. I really love the ending of, of the book, though. I really do. But I, I think I kind of like the episode... Just a little bit better... Than the book. I mean, I'm not saying the book, it, the book wasn't bad. I mean, the, I mean, the book most, most of the, it just, it mostly went on with the, ep, like how they did the episode. That's what the book basically did. But um, what it's basically, what the book's basically about is, it's basically about um these two kids named, well, their brother and sister um Casey and Margaret um. Brewer, Brewer's their last name. Um, their mother is away because um, she has to go see her sister, um, who is getting surgery, and um, she's basically visiting her. And the fa their father is basically taking care of them, and but their father is barely. Is barely out of the house much because all he does is spend time in the basement and um sometimes he'll just only say hi kids good night kids bye kids that's it he won't even hug him he won't even kiss him nothing and margaret is the margaret character is thinking that there is something going on and that he's lying about something. He's hiding something in the basement. And there's something in the basement. Or there's something about the basement that he's not telling. Telling the kids. Or telling him and Casey. But, I mean. But. I'm, and this is my second time reading the book, though. Like, I. Because I, I, I used to read the Goosebumps books. I didn't, but I'm now I'm gonna go in order. I'm gonna go from one to where it ended to. I'm just gonna read the original one. So um, there was 62 of the originals. So, um, but yeah, I don't really want to spoil it. But it has some. It has a very good twist. But it feels like, to be honest, like the only reason I kind of like the. That I like the ending of the book. It's just because like it, it explains stuff about about the answer basically. And but I but I love the episode. Like I said, I love the episode better than the book. But the book was okay. Like I said. But anyway, guys, um, this was my review on the second Goosebump book, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry I didn't get to upload that part two of um that out and about video i did like a few hours ago i don't i don't know it wouldn't upload for some reason i don't know my my com my computer acts weird so i'm on, i'm on my mom's laptop right now so that's why you got this back weird background you guys have never seen before but um I'll, but anyway guys like i said i hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for Homicide Hunter, Season 5, Episode 5. Bye.